Virgos, welcome to the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico here. I'm doing your December heart spread read. This is the read for who's on your mind and who's in your heart. Using eight cards that will resemble a heart, uh, the spread. <clears throat> and I tend to look as an astrologer at the first house, seventh house, this is you, this is your person. And we're kind of looking at how you're interacting together. That's more like sinistry. And the last two cards is advice from spirit and outcome. Um, and that, I tend to think of that as more like your composite chart energy. If I look at astrology, just uh, well, if I do throw it out, I think sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, though. And I pre-shuffled. I do read the bottom of the deck now a little in the heart spread. Not as swords, Virgo. Keep that in mind. Somebody's had some sleepless nights. Usually it something going on with both <clears throat> any number of things could cause that mental stress but here you are six of wands though virgo this is a great card here to have coming in um, you're riding high you're feeling good you're receiving accolades for something you might have accomplished something i mean it could range also it could be like you posting on social media that you've gotten married or uh, gotten pregnant or started a new job or a new relationship and you know, these accolades are coming in. Um, it's also very active energy. You're probably feeling good. I, mean, I would point out at a time like this, this is about who's on your mind, though. Uh, but you would probably look pretty good. You would uh, be very attractive to people. Um, you seem like something special and beautiful. You may be more beautiful or more handsome than usual right now. There's attractiveness about you. Your person's coming in Queen of Cups, got cancer all over it. Could be Pisces, could be Scorpio, water energy. Now this is how they're feeling and doing in and around love and relationships. Um, <clears throat> they're looking away from the reading too, the Queen of Cups here. And I do love the Queen of Cups, okay? It's the classic uh, Gilded Tarot deck. Um, so regal. But the fact that she's looking away and the six of wands is looking, it's like you're doing the pursuing, you're watching them. Um, and I get the feeling, Virgo, this person that you're interested in, this water sign, um, they're a little bit older than you, maybe a little more stable than you. Um, and they have a lot of emotional depth. It's almost like they're really, maybe they told you, or maybe they didn't. It's a little bit like they're giving you the cold shoulder, or they're wanting a little time. They're being coy anyway. They could just be being coy. You know, coy. Well, I got your message, but I got this thing where I gotta wait like so many hours or many days, so I don't seem too eager. Um, my sense of it already, though, Virgo, is uh, they're a little weird, leery of the glow coming off of you because they're approaching it from this emotional way. Um, as if to say, maybe, you know, I don't really want, Virgos, maybe what they're saying, I don't really want that part of you, the glamour girl, the glamour guy part of you. I want the real part of you, maybe. It's kind of what I'm just getting more intuitively than about tarot right there now the way you're responding to them to a sword so what i just said what i just said is you feeling this way because maybe hopefully now you have some understanding maybe you didn't understand why they were kind of giving you the cold soldier so shoulder there uh, but it turns out there's a you know method in their madness huh? um <clears throat> so um, you're very perplexed about this, kind of, yeah, you probably didn't really realize what's going on. Um, and, um, maybe they're not really talking to you about it. You just got a lot of cancer energy to it. I got cancer moon. And cancer energy often kind of expects people to understand us, you know, because we understand every lie emotionally. And so it's like they, we, they, may, they may not speak out to you about, like, kind of what their processes are, what's going on. And it's almost like they don't know how to articulate it. Um, and you just don't understand. You're frustrated. And hey, look, here's how they're reacting to you. They're putting up boundaries against you. And you're not liking it, Virgo. You're unhappy about that. 
these are strong boundaries. I mean, for this water sign to now be out. And this is righteous defense of the castle. Virgo, whatever's going on, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to back down. Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> there's no, just back down. Just whatever it is, this, how well, you get out of this. Back down. Back off. Out, 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 out. Back out of the room. And leave them alone. This is putting up a pretty strong boundary here for them. And again, righteous defense of the castle. So that's something I would just I would really uh, back out. And here you are showing up in your own reading. This is your advice from spirit. This is very important. Back out and become the king of pentacles that you are, Virgo. Right? In control. The king of pentacles elevates the status of this six of wands. You know, it's not, you're not a young person, you're not a, a you know, a playboy, playgirl type. Um, the spirit's kind of reminding you, you're a person of substance, you know. Someone that's reliable, authentic, um, in control, right? Um, let's see. And this is your advice for how to interact with your person, I should point out here. It's what this position is. Um, and also it's telling you in terms of the way they're treating you if they're wanting I told you to back out just have dignity about it just like let it go like I'm the king of I don't need this you know if they don't want to let me in their castle then you know what um, that's cool because you know I have my own castle and I'm gonna hang out in my castle and that's that huh and now this is their advice for you four of wands Interesting. This four of wands, I'm, 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 I'm listening, and and so, uh, sorry. Uh, this four of wands, there's something going on with a marriage, and maybe that's part of it too. Um, you know, like I think they're married. To, you know, leave me a, a mess. I know it might be really limited, it, but I gotta go when I hear it. Like I gotta go, and here now I'm seeing four of wands. That's a marriage, and this is advice from spirit for this person. Now, if they're there, it's considered that you have a marriage, and for you coming with your King of Pentacles, it's considered Virgo that they have a marriage. Um, and again, we have righteous defense. Um, so maybe um, there was a I w I'm thinking there was an emotional affair uh, with you guys and um, you're single six of wands is a single feel single um, I think you think you're quite a catch so you you were really pro pro I'm not saying you aren't you know uh, but this is what how I'd read this and so you're, it's quite perplexing to you you know when they put up the seven of wands defense it's like you know seriously this is me you know this is Virgo here <laughs> really? Putting the wall up to Virgo? They're like, oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. So, so, I get an idea, too, what this Nine of Swords is all about on the bottom of the deck. You know, they might be upset about it, too. Um, it could be involved. Something got you all involved. Now, Judgment. No surprise to see this. This is the most important card, number seven card in the whole reading, eight card reading, judgment. This is advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. And I think that's pretty much saying there's, it's karmic here. There's something karmic involved. We see this come up often about Saturn. Uh, Saturn getting up at uh, like seven degrees, I think now, of uh, Aquarius. Uh, it might have moved on a few degrees, somewhere in there. Um, Often that's going to be Saturn, where you see uh, karma coming in. Not always bad. Not always bad. So one thing I would say that comes to mind, whatever's going on here, and it's almost like I don't want to encourage you, Virgo, but it's some reason for it. There's always a reason. And there's a lesson here in this was meant to happen. Well, frankly, it was meant to happen for your benefit for sure. I would say for their benefit too somehow now the lesson may have nothing to do with the two of you being together but yet you're, you're we don't touch like this unless we're soulmates at some level right 
<coughs> and so there's some energy exchange going on where you're learning something um, and one of the things uh, that's happening I think is a lot of people are creating boundaries and establishing borders and defending castles right now in general it's kind of a musical chair socially and even uh, more intimately um, and um, is maybe learning to respect that and you know that's something like you know what can you do you know everyone's got the right of free association so uh, just let it go let it go tennis sword. as I'm saying let it go tennis swords Virgo so a judgment is here to let this go let this go with this person over here um, and it would be the same advice for them, really. Uh, but I think this is more about you. I mean, judgment is about this being more than just what it is on face value. It's really something important. It's like a life lesson. Um, and so being that this is the outcome, I think it's saying that you will let this go, right? I have to think that's true. And now there's sword. You started out to a sword. You're perplexed. And now you're realizing you just have to let that go. It's also giving up, uh, letting go of control. Maybe that's what this judgment is about. And just, you know, letting things be. Oh, well, that's that way. Okay. I don't need to have an opinion about it. I don't, then we don't need to change it. Um, uh, I could just say, oh, cool. That's that way. Cool. What's going on? Glad to see you're that way. Keep up the good work. And let, let it go. That's something like the energy with this. Um, and I think, like, after you pass the Ten of Swords, You'll get to uh, back to the Ace Swords, and you can just go on do what you want and be kind of free, cut yourself free of all this. So thank you guys. Um, there's a lot of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck here, uh, Virgo. So hang in there. Maybe I'm feeling like a Virgo rising. So it hasn't been easy lately. The energy's tough, but it's for a reason, I think. So let me know if you like it. Do comment. It helps a lot. Share, uh, like, tell a friend, tell a friend. And do subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys.